Hi, this is your friend and favorite realtor, Amber Finch, and I've got your real estate numbers to go over with you today. So let's jump right in. Last week, I told you there were 310 new listings of the week prior. That was April 15th. Uh, this week, we had much lower numbers. So these are the lowest numbers I've seen. Only 271 new listings in the last seven days. So this tells me that there are less sellers putting their homes on the market. So the market is starting to slow in terms of the supply. We're getting tightening and tightening of the supply. Um, so uh, let's see what the buyers are doing to determine um, whether or not we have a, a buyer's market or a seller's market starting to, to develop. And I think I've talked to several people that were wanting and hoping that the market would have some type of price decline or softening so that they could take advantage of the market right now and try to find a bargain or a deal. Um, right now, I'm not seeing those numbers happening because we have in the last week, 383 pending listings. So we only had 271 homes come on the market and over a hundred more of those homes that were on the market actually went off the market too. So this is telling me that the buyer demand is eating up the supply that we have right now over the last week. Uh, these numbers can change obviously, which is why I'm monitoring them every, every day basically, but I'm coming at you every week so you can get a week by week picture of what's going on. If you have specific questions about your situation, about whether or not it's a good time for you to sell or if it's a good time for you to buy, I'm so happy to chat with you about that. Um, even if it's not the right time for you to do that right now, we can prepare you for when might be a good time, whether that's now, a year from now, five years from now, whatever your picture looks like, I'm happy to have that conversation with you. So I hope that you are continuing to be safe that you are offering yourself some grace during this stressful time and that you are continuing to remind yourself of all the things you're grateful for. I know I'm grateful for a lot of things. One of those are you. Have a great day.